Hi and welcome to Bungai Month for April 2011. This month we're going to look at a couple of applications from Wanchi Kata. Okay, so this series of techniques got quite a number of components in. Uh, first of all, we've got the arm raise, we've got the bottom fist into the palm of the hand, we've obviously got this knee lift, and then we've got the uh, position where the hands are parting like this, okay? So we can make use of, um, of all those components. Uh, so to start, we're going to work uh, from whether you've got an outside or inside connection, it doesn't really matter, we'll, let, we'll try and get the outside of the, uh, the opponent. So from an outside connection, I'm just going to pull down from here. And uh, from an inside connection, I'm going to hook this hand over pull in this way okay just gets me it gives me that window to get to the outside all right from here i want to come forward and the palm lift is going to be a strike okay so i'm coming, coming forward i'm just going to hit towards the head all right then from there i want to seize the hair and pull back now depending on where i grab is depending on the response that i get um, if i strike from here and i grab into the crown of the head as i pull back Stuart's going to lift up so he's so he's kind of facing um towards the sky and um, when that happens, I've got obviously those knee options as a knee raise into the outside of the thigh or outside of the knee. The tetsu is now going to come down and strike to the um, to, to the nose, to the face area, or into the throat. Okay. And um, so I'll just look at that one more time. So move to the outside from here, striking, grabbing, it sees in the crown of the head, pulling back. I've got the knee options here, and then the striking options over the top. All right. Um, of course, I may not grab the back of the head, I may grab another part of the head, alright? And it doesn't really matter, this technique works equally well regardless. If I'm here and I strike but I hit, kind of hit the side of his head, I can still just grab wherever I can and pull across, alright? That's going to bring his face so it's kind of facing me now. Um, the knee options now are going to be onto the inside of the thighs, um, and this tattoo, this hammer piece is going to be coming into the side of the jaw, side of the throat area here, okay? Um, this one as well, I've got kind of a, a neck wrenching option as well, where, where the hands part in the kata. So I'm in this position, I'm striking, I grab the base of the, um, the skull here and the, the jaw and I twist the head this way. Okay. Um, if the guy hasn't got any hair, again we can improvise with that as well. As we come to the outside, as we strike, we just hook underneath the thumb, uh, underneath the nose, sorry, so we get the thumb hook underneath the nose and just pull back this way. Okay, then again, I've got all those same options available to me. Okay, just to show a variation of that application, um, I, I could be positioned to the outside, but I may still want to attack the center line, okay? So I could slip my hand in and work along the center line of the opponent. So I'll just show you that uh, example there, put this side so you can see. Um, so if I'm hooking here, instead of attacking onto the outside, I'm gonna slip this hand in and come in towards the center line, all right? So as he presses, I'm going to hook from here and slide his hand straight in and grab the throw from here. So instead of now pulling Stuart backwards, I'm pulling him forwards, all right? Hooking it from here, seizing the throw, so I'm going to squeeze in here and pull down, okay? Then from this position, I've got the kneeing options. If this leg was in front, I can knee the outside of the thigh. If the other leg was in front, it's fine, I can go to the inside of the thigh, okay? And again, I've got the same striking options uh, coming over the top. This time, we're hitting towards the base of the, uh, base of the skull, okay? Just one more time with that. So as you press it in, I hook from here, go straight into the centre line, attacking into the throat. You squeeze from here, and then pull back. Okay. Then they're going to go the knee options, either to the outside or the inside of the thigh, or I've got these striking options here as well to the base of the skull. Okay. So that's just a, a variation of even though you know even though I'm on the inside, I can still attack through um, and go straight to the centre line. Okay, just a couple of ways of building some of the attributes associated with that technique, okay. Um, one of the key movements there was the bottom fist. So you can work on uh, enhancing that with uh, the use of forks and mitts. Just get your partner to uh, walk them together this way, okay. And just working down this way um, with the strike, okay. So working on kind of dropping the weight and being nice and heavy with the, with the movement, really, you know, trying not to bounce off the, off the pads, okay? So it's not like this type of movement. I want to be going through more, okay? So nice and heavy from here. <coughs> Striking right through the pads, okay? <coughs> okay, working on 
are really collapsing the body as well. So kind of forget about the knees and just literally drop, okay, and sink through. <coughs> okay, down this way. Okay, moving on to developing the, the ability to grip now and squeeze, okay. This is quite a traditional method of training. And it's just a pot filled with uh, gravel and small stones, okay. Um, quite a, a crude design, but really, really effective. And it, it, it develops the grip really quickly, okay. Um, one way of, of training this is, is to just to literally knead your hands into the uh, into the stones and grabbing handfuls of stones and squeezing them together, okay? So like this, moving one hand, then the other hand. Okay, you can work on uh, both hands together, you can work on one hand and do so many reps on one side, 20, 30 reps there, 20, 30 reps on the other side. And really digging in hard with the fingers and, and actively squeezing hard. So you're working all the forearm muscles as well, okay? Um, like I say, it's amazing how quickly this helps to develop the, the grip, okay? Working this way, okay? And as, as you're gripping as well, you want to be kind of uh, squeezing, but also turning and kind of ripping as well, so you're getting this kind of um, shearing quality as well to the movement. Okay, so just working there day by day uh, will help develop a really strong grip and ability to, uh, to squeeze. application and some variations from one shoe kata and uh, plus some ways in which you can kind of enhance the attributes associated with those movements. Um, thanks a lot for watching, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next month.